In this video, I'm going to be showing how to use the Autodesk Inventor assembly to uh, create a concept uh, internal engine block. Uh, what we're going to be doing is creating a moving parts, just like this here. Um, so first thing I'm going to do for this uh, video is I'm going to be creating the, uh, uh, the block here, half of it and also a holder kind of like a ground concept by that I, I just made so that it holds everything together and then maybe I'll be able to finish the piston for this uh, video here too uh, let's get started go to new parts sketch XZ select the rectangle hover over the horizontal line till it snapped on there just draw it out uh, before clicking type in a four inch for the uh, vertical and then hover over to the next one highlight it type in 20 inch now we're gonna center the uh, 20 inch here select the vertical line there select the yellow dot there what we want to do is just type in 21 divided by 2 that would be half of that and all these dimensions um, what I'm doing is have nothing to do with the uh, manufacturers automotive manufacturers dimension at all I don't have the blueprint to their uh, drawings, so I'm just basically uh, making my own dimensions for this. If you want to follow it, that's fine. If you want to make your own dimensions, that will be fine too, but the concept will be the same. The drawings will be pretty much similar to the, uh, what I'm doing now. So um, first, just finish this off. Okay, um, go up to the extrude. We want to extrude this one up to be about eight inch. Say okay. Um, highlight the top side of it sketch draw a circle on it 4 inch select the dimension here we just want to dimension this one to be 3.25 say ok and we want to trim this piece off here say ok select extrude again we, we want to use cut this time and select that hole that we're going to be cutting I just want to do it through all just to make sure that it works. There you have it. Now what we want to do is um, do an array on these. So we could have four because we're doing a uh, inline four for it. Select there. What we want to do now is select the direction that we want. So I usually use this one here. It's, it's a lot easier. There. We want to if it's facing the other way we want to reverse the um, this direction there because we want this way here so how many I want four one two three four um, the distance that I want is 4.5 and that would equal out everything here and that's pretty much it so save your um, uh, file here so then we could bring it over to the assembly block uh, and then put it now we're going to do the uh, placeholder uh, for them so we're going to go to new parts sketch I choose XY this time for this I'm going to go to circle hover over the yellow dot there to turn screen bring it up we want three inch for this one draw another one and then we want four inch for this say OK go to extrude highlight the outside diameter there and what we want for this is we could do a uh, three inch is good and say OK and that's all we need to do if you want to add chem uh, chamfer to it just to give it that detailed look that's fine too I'll just do that to uh, yeah 0.25 there we go and save this one and wait for until we start doing the assembly but now go into new parts sketch select the XY select the line I'm going to draw 4 inch two inch here 0 0.5 0 0.125 one, one, two, five again. Point one, two, five for here. 
Point one two five again. Point one two five. Point one two five. I'm making it uh, three rings, three piston rings here. So. Point one two five. There's two. Point one two five. there you have it one two three pin I'm just gonna try to close this here and say okay once we do this we want to uh, do a revolve select that vertical line here and there you have it now we're gonna add a little bit of a, a shell to it so first but first thing I'm gonna do is just to give it that look, concept look of it so that you could tell what it is. I'm going to draw a, a hole there. Just one second here. Okay. And what I'm going to use is this one here. Select sketch. Hover over here. Select the slice graphic here. So you could s basically it cuts in half. And now we're going to draw a little concept of a, a circle there circle here and what the circle that we want is just a, a basic one inch and when we start dimensioning this one it's going to be from here to here and that dimension that I want it to align to is 2.125 click OK you can't see it right now but uh, once you cl click extrude you can see the highlight of it and what we want to do is cut and through but what we want to use is this one here symmetric so it cuts both sides right there in between and there you have there now we, what we want to do now is just to show it out from the inside so what we use is this one here highlight it and the number that I start using is just 0.125 there you go now what we want to do now is just cut that piece there off. Select front, select, select sketch on here, XY, sketch. Again, we want to select the uh, slice two there, so it's cutting right through the center. Now we're just going to draw a, a square here. And the inside dimension that we want for that one is 1.5. So now we want to center that so that it cuts evenly. And what we want for this one is 1.5 divided by 2. Just basically, it's just half of that. And say OK. Click Extrude again. Uh, what we want to do is cut. Choose Symmetric and through all Oop. sorry about that it's supposed to be a distance not a dimension cut so bring it back to distance um, since it's one inch I'll just do a little bit more uh, 1.25 there we go that worked perfect now we're gonna go front we're gonna cut a little arc here just to give that uh, piston look to it so back to that again we want to go to Choosing XY sketch and choose uh, the slice graphic again. Okay, now what we want to use is the arc here, the three point arc. Oh, actually, let's choose this one here, Patrick Geometry. Highlight the line here and here. Now choose the arc. Select there and there. Uh, this one I choose two inch radius for this. Say OK. Uh, I think I want to go back in there, so I go into Edit Sketch. I forgot to close the whole um, thing just to make sure that it's right. Let's go back in there. Yeah, there we go. Choose the line. There we go. Sorry about that. Enter. Extrude. Again, there's uh, 
there's quite a few way of doing this but I found it that if you make a mistake you could always go back and fix it which is good about um, Autodesk Inventor and we want to go to cut cut through it's on cut through which is good that's what we want and there you have it um, save this and then um, on the next uh, videos probably gonna be part two and three I'm gonna be doing the crankshaft and then the uh, connecting rod for it and once we get that all completed uh, we're gonna be doing the engine uh, assembly putting it all together and make the whole thing move so um, stay tuned for the next one but um, don't forget to subscribe to it so then you could follow um, the next step uh, it should be out soon so um, save all your file again alright